Okay, thanks for joining me. Here I am in front of our great range of rocky backgrounds. The rocky backgrounds are a, a rock face that came from a Sydney, Australia, where I live, uh, where I did live five years ago, mind you. Anyway, we've turned that into all these different sizes, right down from a 10 gallon, a 20 by 12 background, all the way up, cut, um, just off the shelf background size, all the way up to a 72 by 28. Um, but if you do have any custom sized tanks, we actually uh, have a mold 10 foot long by 6 foot high, so we can do any size, almost any size aquarium with that without needing a join. The rocky background also um, is the piece that we use when we're doing overflows. So if you have an aquarium where you have some overflows, uh, then typically this will be the piece that we use and we'll use it and bend it to do back overflows which are three-sided like that or or the corner ones which will be two-sided so um, makes it a bit easier because it doesn't have so much definition dimension uh, it doesn't take up too much of the tank and it also makes it possible for us to bend into an overflow um, if you do use this uh, then you're not taking up much of your tank so often you'll want to decorate a bit more giving a bit more three dimension to your tank either by using wood or using some of the decoration rocks we have or even some real rocks that you might have collected over the years so <coughs> keep in mind uh, the more you play with it the more you create with it the better, better it looks like something you would see if you went to nature so uh, don't stop until you got that look now a year ago we started making the backgrounds in a rigid foam. Uh, we have been making products out of foam for many years but not as a complete item. So now instead of the flexible like this, we have the rigid like this. So same mould, same colour, but you cannot bend it. So if you do try and bend it, you might crack it or break it. So just be very, very careful if, you, um, if it's a bit, bit of a tight fit. You might need to actually cut it to fit your size aquarium. So just a, a, a little saw, small tooth saw, um, will cut this quite well. Even scribing it with a really sharp bladed knife and then snapping it when it's cut through um, can, can make this fit your tank so uh, just be careful if you do break it then you can silicon it back with some silicon or even uh, Gorilla Glue works really really well with that so for a reptile tank um, often you won't want to use just the clips that we provide. These clips just sit over the back of the tank, over the back of the tank, and also over the top of the background. The trouble with that is um, sometimes you have snakes and little crickets and things like that, so there might be a little bit of a gap. So for the, a reptile enclosure, what I'd suggest you do then is silicon, silicon this back in place. And uh, the best way to do that is a bead of silicon all the way around. Get yourself some crushed rock that's similar colours to this, some sands. Sprinkle that in and then dab that with a paintbrush while it's still wet to get the texture of, of exactly what the rock face looks like. Um, you can also just put some silicon on some the furthest points that come back and touch the glass, uh, but that, that doesn't seal it from insects. So for reptiles, best way, as I said, all the way around with the silicon. For aquariums, all you really need to do is use our black clips, stick it over the top onto the back of the tank. So, I um, hope you can find a great use in this. As, uh, as you can see, there's um, over 20 sizes actually of backgrounds, plus the big custom one that we can do up to 10 foot by 6 foot and any size overflow as well. So, thanks for joining me and I uh, hope to see you again.